Good evening. Now, over the weekend, the papers and the wider media has been dominated by the revelation that a male BBC presenter allegedly paid a teenager for sexually explicit photos. There's been a huge amount of speculation about who the individual at the centre of this scandal is, but the corporation has so far not released a name. Well, let's take a look at what we do know so far about how this all unfolded. Now, the family of the person who was 17 when the presenter allegedly started payments back in 2020. They complained to the BBC in May and became frustrated when the presenter stayed on air. Then fast forward to last Thursday. That's the date the BBC have said they became aware of new allegations against that presenter. The following day, there was a big splash by the Sun newspaper who first reported the story and say the teenager was paid more than £30,000. And then yesterday, the BBC confirmed that presenter had now been suspended. Now, looking at that timeline, there are questions to be asked, not least of all, why the presenter wasn't taken off air when the allegations were first made. But while the BBC continues their investigations, several stars have felt compelled to speak out and deny their involvement in any of this. Well, Julian Drucker has more on a story that, at the moment, asks more questions than it answers. Pressure is mounting and speculation is increasing. The BBC presenter at the centre of allegations they paid for sexually explicit photos remains unnamed by the corporation. Yesterday, they were suspended. Today, executives met detectives to discuss the matter, with the Met Police confirming it will now make further inquiries to determine if a crime has been committed. The Home Secretary is demanding urgent answers. These allegations are incredibly serious. Um, we know that the Culture Secretary, my colleague Lucy Fraser in Cabinet, has spoken to the Director General of the BBC yesterday um, and that we are, and there is an ongoing uh, investigation internally to establish the facts. Once again for the BBC, the corporation is reporting on a story about itself. Good afternoon. BBC managers are expected to meet the police today. But there are questions for social media companies too after a number of BBC names were wrongly accused online of being the presenter at the centre of the claims. Worst things happen at sea, as they say. But it was a distressing weekend. I can't deny it for me and others uh, falsely named. Today, I'm having further conversations with the police in terms of malicious communication and with lawyers in terms of defamation. So over the weekend, a number of names were thrown in. I wasn't trying to avoid this. It's sort of the cloud has passed for me. But I mean, I was shocked that my name is put into it. This is what social media does. It's just basically a massive fountain of sewage. Today, in its latest reporting on the affair, the Sun newspaper has claimed that the unnamed presenter last week made what it calls two panicked calls to the 20-year-old who had previously sent them images. The BBC star allegedly urged the person to contact their mother to stop them from going public over the claims. Legal experts say it's still potentially tricky for the newspaper to name them. Unless uh, um, somebody admits to it, unless a public organisation like the BBC says, yes, that person is the subject of these inquiries, it can be dangerous to uh, publish somebody's name, both in terms of libelling them, if it turns out to be not true, and in terms of invading their privacy, they would have grounds for bringing a civil claim for invasion of their right to respect for private and family life. The BBC says it's working to establish the facts of what happened while the name of the star at the centre of it remains unknown. But for how much longer? Julian's uh, with us now. So many questions, Julian. Where do you think this goes next? Well, the name hasn't been revealed by the BBC or The Sun for the reasons we just said there from Joshua Rosenberg. Clearly, the longer it goes on, people may work it out because this presenter won't be seen on uh, TV suddenly. There are suggestions there could be a statement from this presenter possibly quite soon. Uh, what could they possibly say? Either they're going to resign or might there be some sort of defence. Now, the key uh, potential criminal area in the story is the age of the youngster. Uh, under the Protection of Children Act 1978, it is a crime um, to take, make, share or possess indecent images of people under 18. Now, The Sun is reporting that this person uh, was 17. Is there going to be some sort of dispute over what age this person uh, claimed to be? But, I mean, at best, it would be hugely embarrassing for this presenter to have to talk about their private life and what they've looked at on the internet, even if it turns out to have been legal. Okay, Adina, with the latest on all of this, thank you.